it's about to start raining, so I'm gonna try to be quick. You know, I think it's like a human flaw in all of us. And it creates a challenge throughout everyone's lives. And that battle is called insecurity. And that's also, that's a problem that we all have to battle and face. How do I know that? Because it's coming from an insecure person. We're all like insecure in our own type of way. Um, and how everyone's insecurity reflects, it's just based off of the people in the world around them. <clears throat> Look at like the richest people in the world. They have all the money, wealth and resources, but they still try to attain more due to insecurity, due to the fear of them maybe being poor again. Um, people fight for love and fear of losing love, making it insecurity. Everyone has to battle some sort of insecurity. But when the battle becomes a problem, It starts to like hurt the people around around that that situation, I should say. What do I mean by that? When we start to project our own fears on the other people, it take away from that person's enjoyment, their happiness, their fulfillment. And a lot of times we only think about ourselves and we project how we feel onto the onto the other person's vessel, onto their shell, onto like their person. And we assume or make the assumption that they should also feel the same way as us. But that's just not reality. Things don't work like that. Um, and what happens is that people tend to take their mental hurt and pain and it, they allow it to affect them physically or they perceive it as affecting them physically. So they'll be like, you hurt me, or how could you? When all reality, you didn't do anything to them. They're projecting their fears and securities. And the most you can do with people in those situations is just listen to what they have to say, but you don't have to internalize, you just observe because it's not your problem to solve. And a lot of the times, we do this for years, or we do this based on the individual as well, or we do this based off of our own ideology. We can do this off of many different factors. We feel the need to save people out their situations, out their mindsets, but no one can change a person's mind other than the person who's having the thoughts. A lot of thoughts just aren't constructive. <clears throat> you know it's not constructive if it leads to nowhere positive. If it just needs, if it just leads to negative emotions and feelings, then it's not constructive. It doesn't necessarily have to accomplish anything, but it just can't be negative. It should be positive thoughts, positive actions, positive manifestations. We have to be careful because a lot of the times we also are reflections of the world around us. That's why I said we all are insecure because we're a reflection of each other. Maybe we're not insecure in the same ways as other people. And, and knowing that we shouldn't project our insecurities, our fears onto other people. So, matter like being, like in like game. Squall. Peace.